Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Hotpoint WMA50 washing machine. I've been using it for all sorts of abusive purposes in the Will It Wash playlist series. Check out the link. One of the things that people seem to take particular exception to, despite the fact that I'm, you know, terrorizing this machine, people seem to dislike the fact that there's no, no drawer on the front of this, no cover on the front of this drawer even. So, I think, if all goes to plan, we'll sort that out today. So you get the drawer out, just as I've done there, by pressing on this little thing and it releases a latch. A little tiny latch and that, that little tiny latch there is released and you can pull the drawer out. Some people will probably find this even more frustrating. But I've managed to source a white front from Acreda, which is a completely different machine. With a, a completely different set of uh, legends on the front there. So somehow now I've got to pop these guys here out. I think I'm going to use brute force, the old... Uh, that old terror. So with a screwdriver, flat bladed, I'm just gonna bust in here. Oh, that was one nearly out. One side. Yeah, that's one out. Brute force is all it's getting. Uh, this one I'm gonna have to come in from behind here, I think. I suspect if I get one out, that would be that. Let's try pushing it down. No, it's not gonna work. I need to kind of hook it from behind. I wonder if I should start. No, I can't get in there, you see. Ah, I just keep forcing it. That'll do. Right. So, this one, hopefully. Ah, no, it won't. It's a different size altogether. Different size altogether. So, it's kind of the same shape. No, but it's slightly different. So, uh, what can we do about that? Well, people want a drawer front, so I'm going to have to marry up the two. Let's put that back in, see where it should lie if it goes in. So it should be about here. Yeah, about here. So the left-hand side of this thing needs to line up with this. That's about right to get it to, to, to not fit correctly. So then, how do we do that? I want it to go in more, so I need to put some kind of a thing there. A piece of wood. So uh, yeah, let's let's have a go at this. So I'm going to need to find some way to bridge the two, and I've looked at a little block of wood, and it's not really big enough. So I need a piece that will go the whole way across, I think. So let's get marking. Got my pencil. It's not often you get to practice woodwork on a on a washing machine. Pencil, cut it there. Come across like that, and then we need to get this V angle and the bottom. So that goes from here up to what would it be? About. Let's put that in like that. out here. So we'll join that line up like that. We'll join this line over like this. I'll get that cut out and we'll uh, screw it all together hopefully. So if you're going to practice fine joinery, the only way to do it is with the Japanese saw. <laughs> These are different because they cut on the pull stroke and they leave quite a good finish. And this Japanese saw has the distinction of both being damaged, because this fool hit a nail or something with it, but it also has a rip saw on one side and a cross cut on the other, so we can do both. That was remarkably easy to cut. That's a lovely rip saw. So I haven't really kept my line. I haven't really gone as far as there. I might have to tidy this up. Let's get the drawer and see. So it just about fits. Perfect, actually. And yeah, because it's a bit shorter, that should be okay. I might need to take a little bit more off. So I'll do that. I'll try it in the drawer and see what it looks like before I screw it together. So it's quite a good fit, but there's just a little bit here at the bottom that I'll take off. So I think I'll do that with a chisel. There's nothing like the tool in front of you to be given a job. Here is a half inch wood chisel. Let's 
try that. I think that might be good enough. That's a, that's a pretty good fit there. I'm kind of happy with that. I'll leave it at that, I think. It's a bit of a strange curve on the bottom of this plastic here. So uh, the wood's fine as it is. So back to the machine and conveniently, there's a couple of holes located for, uh, for screwing. I think two pieces, two screws should be enough for this one. So let's put them in, get a start made. You're not really meant to screw into end grain, and I have cracked the plastic there, but you know what? If I'm gonna wreck one machine, as I believe I have already, and now I'm wrecking two by stealing the drawer off a perfectly usable machine, to wreck, what harm? One more screw? What do you think? I wonder if these will be in the way on the side. I better try it again now. Okay. So three screws in, let's try the drawer. Oh, that's perfect. Now, this thing has to go on here somehow. I'm to line it up about right. Yeah, that's, not, that's not looking bad. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna need is to get that, you know, pretty perfect like that. I'm gonna need to drill some holes in the front of it. Let's get in here. You might like to watch this a bit better. Right, somewhere about there. One, and I don't want to wreck the tech. Two, that ought to do it. I need a good long screw here, I think. These won't be long enough. Something longer than's in my box. Will these ones do it, one and three quarter inch? Let's see. No, probably not, you know. We're gonna to need to get up to a three inch screw for this job. It's getting near a three inch screw if it's not three inches. So let's put that on there, like that. Offer this up. That'll do, nicely. A little bit on here. Great, so that's a pretty perfect fit there, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Let's look at it from a different angle. Let's just uh, get it from an angle there. Maybe bring it in a little bit. Drop it down a little bit more. Ah yeah, if you look at that carefully enough, you wouldn't even know it's different. Perfect. Now, one thing's just gone missing. Let's uh, let's get this back in here, because this might come in handy later on. There we go. Right. Close that up. Oh, is it getting stuck? going in right. No, it's okay. Not sure what's stopping it, but I think it's uh I think it's in right. Okay. There you go. That's how you replace the uh drawer fascia on a hot point WMA50. I think it's a hot point Aquarius, but it may not be. I wonder are they the same washing things? No, they're not. Okay, let's have a look. So what have we got? We've got a pre-wash for A, pre-wash, B, we've got whites in pre-wash, that's not right there because that's white cotton. Oh no, hold on, white cotton but it's not a pre-wash on this one. 60 and then it goes to 95, D, 60, D, 40, now oh, these are completely different, this is just, it's just nonsense. Okay, what's F doing? F is 50 nylon, so that's 50, yeah, colored synthetics is nylon. G, 40 acrylics. Okay, so we'll have, to, we'll have to cross some of these out. J is fast spin. No, J is silks here. K is fast wash. Sorry, fast wash. Yeah, K and J. Slow spin only is this dotty one. Well, we don't have that on the other machine. K is 40. K is fast wash. No, this is, this is never going to work. All right, we're going to have to get a pen and cross some of these out. Got a red pen here. Hopefully there's some ink in it. Which one was right? F was nylon. Yeah, that one's all right. G. G's 40 acrylics. That, that's right. Okay. 40 is machine wash wool. Well, that's not right. No, no. Sorry. H. H is 40 machine wash wool. That's not right at all. Better cross that one out. J. 30 silks. No, that's not right. Um, 
slow spin well that doesn't really matter because that's written on the it's written on the dial over on the other machine okay we've got that one k k's fast wash no that's not right either this is awful awful stop well you see this one's got an exclamation mark over here for stop so we better put that in okay a pre-wash yes yeah, all right whites and pre-wash for b well that's that's not right yeah, just leave it, get rid of the pre-wash because it's white, white cotton, so that's all right. White 95, that's wrong. C, uh, D, 60 colors, not wrong. E, 40 colors, no, that's 30, oh, this is awful. Awful, okay. Won't do it all, you can still read them through there, though. that's kind of handy. All right, let's, uh, let's put that on like that now. Hopefully the people who've been upset by the fact that this will get that exclamation mark a bit better. There we go. Hopefully the people who've been upset by the missing drawer now will be satisfied with that. I'm quite happy with that. That's worked out lovely. Excellent. I'm going to put up another video now shortly on this one. I've got a load of jelly I want to make inside in the machine. See if a 95 degree wash will uh, melt the jelly and make, make a wash. So yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, whatever. Thanks for watching. See you later. It would be remiss of me not to put in a thousand on it because it's a one thousand spin washing machine. See you later.